Throughout history, there have been people who have committed some of the most heinous crimes fathomable. For those crimes, they have been convicted and sentenced to death. Welcome to Death Row Executions, where we take a look into the lives of society's worst offenders. And now, your host, Air. But you've been here for a long time, right? Yeah, I've been here since 2003. I was 19 when I came to death row. I was 18 when I got the case, right? Oh. And you're now? 30. 30. It's no excuse, but my defense is I didn't kill nobody. I didn't know nobody was going to die, and nobody was supposed to die. Back in 2003, Clinton Young was sentenced to death in Midland County by a jury. He was convicted of killing two men, Doyle Douglas and Samuel Petrie. Prosecutors during trial argued that Clinton went on a crime spree and killed the men so he could use their vehicles. During trial and over the years, Clinton expressed his innocence and maintains that he was framed for the murders. During trial, one of the prosecutors was Assistant District Attorney Ralph Petty, who was also working as a paid law clerk for the District Court Judge John Hyde. Clinton's defense team was unaware of the fact that Ralph Petty conducted research and frequently made legal recommendations to the court on motions that were for the prosecution or motions that were for the defense. In 2017, Clinton Young was scheduled to be executed, and the main person fighting for the death warrant was none other than Ralph Petty, who filed a motion before Judge Robert Moore. Clinton claimed that the prosecutor got a conviction based off of false testimony during trial from a man named David Page, and Clinton claimed that David Page was the actual killer. Clinton was granted a stay of execution by the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. While all of this was happening, Ralph Petty was sneakily working behind the scenes to file a motion to grant David Page immunity. Because of this, another district attorney who worked with Ralph decided to interview David Page. David admitted to falsely testifying that Clinton was the real killer. Despite knowing this information, District Attorney Laura did not tell anyone. Fast forward to 2019, Laura was processing the retirement papers for Ralph, and she noticed that he had received over $130,000 in payments from the county, which was work outside of the district attorney's office. This finally made her do the right thing, and she brought the information to Clinton Young's attorneys. There was an investigation, and it turned out that there were 355 cases minimum in which Ralph Petty prosecuted a defendant while also performing legal work for a judge in that particular case. Out of those 300 plus cases, 21 were inmates in prison serving 50 years minimum in prison. With this information, on September 22, 2021, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals decided to vacate Clinton's conviction and granted him a retrial. The grounds for the retrial were judicial and prosecutorial misconduct in the form of an undisclosed employment relationship between the trial judge and the prosecutor appearing before him. The appeal court was quoted writing, the evidence presented in this case supports only one legal conclusion, that applicant was deprived of his due process rights to a fair trial and an impartial judge. Clinton was transported from death row to a Midland County jail to await his trial, but was granted a $150,000 bond. As for Judge John Hyde, he was able to avoid any backlash from this case because he died from cancer in 2012. Ralph Petty, on the other hand, was not off the hook. In quoting deathpenaltyinfo.org, After conducting a hearing in which Ralph Petty invoked his constitutional privilege against self-incrimination, Senior Judge Sid Harrell issued an opinion on April 26, 2021, in which he recommended that the TCCA declare Young's trial null and void and grant him a new trial. Harl blasted Petty and the Midland County District Attorney's Office for shocking prosecutorial misconduct that destroyed any semblance for a fair trial in Young's case. At least two senior members of the District Attorney's Office were aware that Ralph Petty had been prosecuting Young and representing the prosecution in opposing Young's appellate challenges to his conviction and death sentence while simultaneously serving as a paid judicial clerk and legal advisor for the judge who was presiding over the trial and subsequent trial court. 
The bias created by Judge Hyde's employment of Mr. Petty deprived Mr. Young of due process of law. The appearance of impropriety in Mr. Young's case is clear. The court's law clerk was also the prosecutor for the state. Miss Laura Noldoff knew that the interview needed to be disclosed, yet neither Mr. Petty nor anyone in the office disclosed David's interview until after the Court of Criminal Appeals stayed Mr. Young's execution when it authorized review of Mr. Young's claim that Mr. Page testified falsely at his trial. Now facing disbarment, Ralph chose to surrender his law license instead, and on April 13, 2021, the Texas Supreme Court ordered that Ralph was prohibited from practicing law in Texas, and they felt that terminating his license was in the best interest of the public and the profession. As for Clinton Young, crowdfunding was able to raise the $150,000 bond in no time. Clinton said the fight wasn't over until his feet touched the grass, and after 20 years on death row, this happened. What's up, everybody? Ah. Grass, huh? <laughs> if you ever end up watching this video, Clinton, I'm sorry you had to spend 20 years on death row for a crime you did not commit and prosecutors knew you did not commit. I don't understand why they would try and grant the real killer immunity. Thank you everyone for watching and let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments below.